In this video, I'm going to go over how to get rid of IT band syndrome for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with iliotibial band or IT band syndrome or pain, especially on the outside of the leg, maybe even around the knee, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. We're going to go over very easy and effective stretches and exercises that are going to target IT band pain, especially its counterparts, the TFL and the glutes that are also responsible for pulling and putting a lot of strain on the IT band. All of these movements are very safe and effective. You can do them at home, possibly even at work. The only piece of equipment I'm going to be using is an everyday racquetball. I got this locally at a sporting goods department for a dollar. They're very easy to get and very inexpensive. So all of these movements, very safe, very effective, and you may find give you very quick IT band pain relief, even as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started with them and get that IT band pain feeling better right now. So for the first part, we're going to focus on getting everything relaxed and released around the iliotibial band. When it comes to the IT band, it runs up the side of the leg and then it forks towards the top. When it forks in the front, it goes into the TFL or the tensor fascia lata. When it forks towards the back, it goes into the glutes. So we're going to start off by getting these two relaxed because if one is tight and it's causing imbalance, it's going to pull downwards into the IT band causing pain. So let's start with the TFL first. This is a very easy stretch. What I'm going to do is whatever side that I'm focused on, and it doesn't really matter because you want to do this on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with my left side, assuming that one is the one that has pain. Take your right leg and then sweep it over just like this in front of the left. From there, your legs should be parallel with each other. I should say the feet. You're going to then just laterally bend the left hip right here the whole upper body towards the right. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to really almost reach down towards the floor with my right hand. The more that you lean over, the more intense that stretch is going to get. Only go to your comfort level. Hold this for 15 seconds. You're going to come back up and then you're going to repeat this five times and then just simply switch to the opposite side and then do the same thing. Very good way to stretch the TFL. So let's build off that tensor fascia lata stretch with a self massage into the TFL. And I'm going to be using my racquetball for this. So what I'm going to do, and if you remember, the IT band comes up and it splits into the front right here into the TFL. Let's take our racquetball and place it right over that spot. I'm just going to lie on the floor and I'm going to just roll over onto that side to where that ball is focused right over the TFL. Let's take the back leg right here and put it at 90 degrees to keep uh, it pretty well anchored. And then I'm just going to use my upper body weight and support it on my forearm just like this. So with my knee bent right here, what I'm going to do is just really trying to find that sore spot over the TFL. And then I'm just going to do this simple motion. Let's go forward with the leg, hold it for a second. It should intensify that self massage into the TFL. And then I'm just going to hold that for about 10 seconds. I'm just going to relax. I'm going to go over a different spot and then I'm just going to repeat this process. So you want to do this over different spots and go with the ones that really feel like it's very sore. Just simply straining the leg and then coming back. If you're looking to get more of an intense uh, self massage into the TFL, what you can do is go completely straight and then lift the leg up like this. And it's really going to put a pinpoint massage into that TFL. So only go to your comfort level. Hold this for 10 to 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then you can repeat this up to five times and also switching to different spots as needed. So let's move on and tackle glute muscle tightness. I'm going to be using my racquetball and I'm going to go right off to the side back here. I'm just going to lie on it very similar to what we did in the first uh, exercise. The back leg is going to go completely straight to help anchor us down while the front leg right here is just bent at 90 degrees. I'm going to just lift my upper body like this trying to keep my elbow straight. So when you do this, you should already start to feel a good amount of pressure being put into the glute over the racquetball. Make sure to really use your upper body weight to try to drive your weight down into the ball to get a better massage. So once I am able to hit that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab behind the knee and I'm going to slowly lift up on the leg just like this. And when you do it, it's gonna make the uh, massage into the glute muscle much more intense. So only go to your comfort level. Try to hold this for 10 to 15 seconds. You're just going to relax 
and then you're going to repeat this up to five times. From there, move the racquetball up and down the glute to target spots that need it. If you do find that one spot is particularly sore and you want a little bit more of a you know, tension release into that muscle, this is what we can do. Let's find that spot and I'm going to just simply lift up on my leg like this. And when you do this, again, it's going to be very, very pinpoint into the glute only to your comfort level. Try to hold this for about 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then repeat this up to five times and then just switch into other spots as needed. So without a doubt, if we're looking to get rid of IT band syndrome and pain, we have to strengthen everything, including the TFL and the glutes to make sure it's not putting strain on the IT band. We're going to start off with a very effective exercise that's going to hit all of those. It's called a clamshell squat. I'm going to roll up a large bath towel for this one and go next to a wall. What I want to do, and if you're unfamiliar with a squatting stance, go about shoulder width between your legs right here. And you wanna point your toes just a little bit outwards. I'm going to put the um, towel at knee level and I'm going to go right up towards it. So when I do this, my legs, I'm going to try to drive them out like this. And when you do this, you should already start to feel the muscle up here start to activate. Really take this knee and drive it into that towel. From there, let's get very good upright posture into the lower back and we're just going to squat down. That's lowering the butt down towards the floor. When you do this, you should really feel the glutes start to fire. Hold this in a good position for about 10 seconds. You're just going to come back up and then you're going to repeat this up to 10 times. And then from there, switch to the other side. So the next exercise, we're going to do a lunging position. So let's get into a lunging stance and I'm going to put that towel right here in between my knee and the wall. What I'm going to do is drive the knee inwards again into the towel, into the wall, and I'm just going to from there get into a lunging stance like this and then start to just do an upwards and downwards lunge just like this while driving my knee into the wall. This right here is really going to fire the leg. It's going to really be felt into the glutes. So just go to your comfort level with it. Try to do just nice slow movements up and down like this for up to 10 to 15 times. And then from there, just switch to the other side. So here's another great IT band strengthening exercise. You can do this one in bed or on the floor. What I'm going to do is go and lean on one side, roll over on one side, I should say. The bottom leg is going to be bent at 90 degrees while the top leg is going to be completely straight. What I'm going to do is lift this top leg up, but we want to do this in a special way to really target the TFL and the glute muscles. So instead of just lifting straight up with it like this, let's lift up but go at a backward angle with our heels. So you should almost feel like you're lifting up through our heels and going back with it. When you do this, you're going to find that it fires the muscles a lot more. So experiment with that. Lift it up straight and then go back just a little bit with it. You're gonna notice a huge difference. So make sure to lead with your heel. When you do this, go to your comfort level, hold this for 10 to 15 seconds. You're going to relax and then you're going to just slowly repeat this up to five times and then you're going to want to flip over and do it on the other side to keep both sides in balance. So with this next IT band exercise, let's focus on the inner part of the leg, the adductor muscles, because if these are strong, it's going to help take a lot of stress and tension on the outside of the leg or off the IT band. And this one we can also do in bed or on the floor. I'm going to lay flat, bend my knees like this, take a rolled up towel and place it in between the knees. What I wanna do is drive the knees into the towel. From there, my feet are going to be flat. I'm going to put my hands down like this too, and I'm going to go into a modified bridge. So I'm going to lift my butt up off the floor like this until it's in a nice straight line from the knees to the hips, hopefully all the way down to the shoulders. While I do this, I'm really driving those knees together. You should really feel the leg muscles firing, probably all the way into the glute. Hold this one for about 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then you're just going to, again, lift up and repeat this up to five times. Wonderful exercise. It's going to hit the inner leg muscles and it's also going to hit the glutes, help strengthen everything and hopefully ward off a lot of IT band pain 
and iliotibial band syndrome later on. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.